In the Batman, we see Gotham in a state of deep decay, with corruption running through the city's core from the police force to politicians. No institution was untouched by the rot. In interviews, Matt Reeves made it clear that his version of Gotham was going to dig into the corruption even more in the sequel. He's talking about exploring parts of Gotham that Bruce couldn't anticipate in the first film. This idea of hidden corruption makes the Court of Owls a perfect fit for the Batman 2. In the comics, the Court of Owls is a secret society made up of Gotham's wealthiest and most influential citizens, controlling the city from the shadows. They've been around Gotham since its earliest days, ensuring that the power structure never shifts away from their control. If Gotham's elites have been pulling the strings all along, it would force Bruce slash Batman to confront an enemy far more dangerous than he realized. The first movie heavily explored Bruce's identity and his family's complicated legacy. The revelations about Thomas Wayne's questionable actions shook Bruce to the core. Now, imagine the Batman 2 revealing that the Wayne family's involvement in Gotham's dark history goes even deeper than with connections to the Court of Owls. Matt Reeves has emphasized that Bruce Wayne is still early in his journey as Batman, learning hard truths about Gotham and himself. If the Court of Owls were behind some of the corruption his father tried to escape, this would add a personal stake for Bruce, unlike any villain we've seen so far. Dick. It would push him to not only fight crime on the streets, but also grapple with his family's legacy and Gotham's systemic corruption. Matt Reeves has spoken about his love for detective elements of Batman, describing his Gotham as a noir city filled with secrets. The Court of Owls fits perfectly into this tone. They operate from the shadows, making moves behind the scenes, and their very existence is hidden from most of Gotham, even treated as a myth by some. This would make them a perfect villain for Bruce to navigate. Imagine a storyline where Batman uncovers clues about the court's existence, only to realize that they've been manipulating Gotham for generations. This wouldn't just be a physical threat. It's an intellectual and psychological battle for Bruce as he uncovers a dark truth about the city he's sworn to protect. Another key element that supports this theory is the role of the Penguin. Colin Farrell's Penguin was one of the highlights of the Batman, and he's got his own show over on HBO, which is amazing. And that is going to lead into Batman 2. In the first movie, we saw Penguin start to rise after the death of Carmine Falcone, and in the sequel, he could be on the verge of taking over Gotham's underworld. But what if Penguin is just a puppet in the Court of Owls grand scheme? The court has always been portrayed as manipulating Gotham's criminal enterprises to maintain control. With Falcone gone, the court could see this as the perfect opportunity to tighten their grip on the city, using figures like Penguin to do their dirty work while staying hidden. This would allow the Batman 2 to continue the noir, crime thriller elements of the first film while raising the stakes. Finally, let's talk about the Talons, the Court of Owls deadly enforcers. In the comics, Talons are highly trained assassins, some even resurrected through secretive means, making them nearly unstoppable. Introducing the Talons into Batman 2 would elevate the physical threat to Batman while maintaining the grounded tone that Matt Reeves has created. This wouldn't just be a battle of wits, but a brutal physical test for Bruce as well. Imagine Batman going up against a Talon, an enemy that knows Gotham as well as he does, perhaps even better. The Talons could serve as the perfect physical embodiment by the court's control over the city, tying the intellectual and action-packed elements of the movie together seamlessly. So, will the Court of Owls be the main villain of Batman 2? While Matt Reeves hasn't confirmed it, the groundwork is all there. Gotham's history of corruption, the Wayne family's legacy, the rise of Penguin, and the detective noir tone all point towards the Court of Owls being the perfect next threat for Batman to face. It's a story that's personal, dark, and will test Bruce Wayne in ways we haven't seen before. What do you guys think? Court of Owls and Batman 2? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. But until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.